Welcome everyone to our prayer journey with my Toad Daily Devotion. I'm going to continue with Psalm 19 and a few verses in this psalm that will outline how great God's Word is to us individually. Listen to these two verses here. There is no speech nor language where the voice is not heard. God's creation goes out. It has a voice. It goes into every language, every place, and is delivered to every man. Then he says, their line, that word, is gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. In them he had set a tabernacle for the sun. The tabernacle for the sun or a tent for the sun to house it. It is not a permanent thing, but you are a permanent thing. So what is God saying here? Throughout creation, he has sent his voice. Everyone can hear it and see it. There are laws that hold that sun into that tent. As it spins around galaxies and as we spin around it, all of creation is held together by what? The laws that he has put into nature. God is in control. When you look at the complexity of the universe, they say less than one tenth of one percent difference in any of these natural things, and we would cease to exist. So God's holding everything together with the natural law. So then it is wise for what David says here in verse 7 and 8. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making the wise simple. The statutes of the laws are right, rejoicing the heart, and the commandments of the law is pure, enlightening the eyes. That is a lot in one or two little verses. What is he saying? The law is perfect, just as it holds all of our galaxies together, all of the universe together. He holds you together if you follow God's Lord. It is perfect. It converts the soul. It changes you from what you were to what you can be in God. It washes you. The testimony of the law is sure. If God says it, if he says you are cleansed, if you came to Jesus Christ, you confessed his name, he is faithful and just to forgive you your sins. It is perfect. His testimony is sure. He makes wise the simple. If You know, it, it is confounding to the wisdom of this world. Those who think they are so wise and have all the answers and search deeper and deeper, and they say there is no God when you know that there is. You have the perfection of your soul. You have the testimony of God. You have the rejoicing of the heart that they cannot find. You know what I find with people who keep looking for God or looking for getting away from God? They're not happy because they got sin to deal with and they can't deal with it. What do they try to do? What does a psychiatrist do often? They cast out, oh, just give that guilt away. There's somebody putting guilt on you, but guilt is good when you address it because you know what the problem is. It's just like when you get cut in the arm or stabbed in the arm, you know you got a wound there. You can see it. You felt it. You react. You get away to, to make it good. You address the problem. You bandage it. You, you try to heal it. You don't try to just get rid of it like it didn't happen. So God's word is perfect. He rejoices the heart because you deal with your sin. You get rid of it once and for all. And the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. You can see into the spiritual realm where those who are much smarter than you can't see anything. So I hope this is a blessing to you. Until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.